In this video, I'm going to show you the ins and outs of multicam editing in the latest version of Premiere Pro. We're going to go through a couple of solid workflows of how to get this done and sometimes delivering the project or a draft at least on the same day. I find myself editing about 10 to 15 multicam projects a week, so I've developed a good workflow and I found some tools along the way that just make life so much easier. So the first thing I'm going to do when I've got all my files together is organize everything because trust me, organization is everything. So I've got my files here. I'm going to add my footage in here. I'm going to create another folder for my audio and then one for my project files and then one for my exports. Then I'm going to open up Premiere Pro, go to new project, name the project. And then I'm going to come here and choose location. So the cool thing with Max is you can just drag it from Finder and go into here. And it's just created your session right there. And then I'm going to drag my footage and my audio in here. So right here, I've got my camera and then I've got the zoom session here. I've got the two angles, me and Will. This one right here is my webcam angle, which isn't great. And this is my camera and C log that looks a bit better. So we're going to combine all that stuff. Next, I'm gonna create my new sequence, keep everything organized and start dropping the files in. Keep existing. I've dropped the video in here. As you can see, the size is different, but in the new version of Premiere Pro, we can fit to frame. So I've just fit that into the frame. So I'm gonna keep that there for now. I'm gonna use my camera angle there. Again, I'm gonna to fit to frame and it's just zoomed out. I'm gonna add the audio in and now I'm gonna select everything and synchronize. That synchronized everything nice. I'm gonna trim the front end and then I'm gonna come and trim the back end. So now we're gonna start constructing our multicam angles. Now we've got everything we need audio wise here. So I'm gonna start replacing the camera audio with the nice audio. So this one is a flat profile. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to color correct this. So what I've used here is a plugin called FX Seeker. So you use the shortcut and then type in the effect you wanna use and it just applies it straight away. So I'm gonna come here and uh, use Cinema Grade. So Cinema Grade has been really good for me. Really used to just make footage look cool. It's got all the graphs and the waveforms you need here. And just like that, made my footage look a lot better than what it was. And it being in C-Log obviously really helps. So I'll apply that, applies it into Premiere. And just like that, I've got decent angle. In the latest Premiere Pro version, we've got this toggle right here. So you can either crop or transform. All right, so I've got my first angle and then I need my second angle. So right here, I'm going to resize that. So Will's in frame. So as you can see, I want him looking to the left. I'm gonna look to the right. It's gonna look like we're talking to each other in the same space. That's good there. I've got two angles here. So after I've done that, I'm going to actually nest those. I've got host, for example, there. I've got guest here. And then I'm going to duplicate those and move them up. Now I'm going to use a split screen pack to have both of us in the same screen. The split screen preset pack is designed to be a drag and drop solution for podcasts, music videos, and we've added some bonus VFX filters in there to make things a bit more interesting. And no, these are not PNGs, but carefully made and tested presets to increase your speed and efficiency in your editing. So I'm going to go and put Will on the right. So he's looking left. And then in the preset, you can go and resize the preference. And then those two angles, you're going to nest again. I like to call it baked. So right here, I've got three angles. I've got the baked one, I've got Will, and then I've got myself. And just like that, I've created my three angles. And this is going to be the foundation of the two different ways I'm going to use moving forward. Now, the first way is to take all these angles, nest them, and then right click, go into multi-camera and then enable. Now, what this does is it creates a multicam view. And then if you come here to your multicam angle viewing tool, you can see I've got one, two, three angles that I can choose between. And if you don't have that, come to here to the plus button, drag that on and you have that ready to go. And the cool thing about doing it this way is while it's playing, I can use my keys one, two, three to switch between the angles. So while this is playing, I'll press one and you can see how it selected the angle. And then I'll press three to move into the baked view, back to one, to two when Will's speaking, back to three. So you can do this live mixing. It'll take you <laughs> quite a long time to do that. What I do personally is if I would do it this way, I would double speed it and then kind of switch between the angles that way. 
and when you press pause you can see all the cuts it's made now if you don't like one of the cuts you can just hover over that and then change it with again your keys one two three and then if you want to tighten this up what i usually do is use my shortcuts q and w to just chop those gaps so what w does is it deletes the space between that cut right there and the cursor and then q would do it backwards so you can start tightening up stuff and you can get really fast doing it this way and you get workflow down pretty quick. Now the way I use 99% of the time, especially if I wanna have a quick turnaround between projects is using this Autopod plugin. Now we've done a full video on this, breaking it down and I've been paying for this since that video. So over a year, I've been using it so much and it just works really well. It does what it says on the tin and yeah, I've just been really happy with it. Now we've got a few options here. It's got cut method, enable, disable, or standard. I use enable disable because I like going in and just change the angles if I need to. Wide shot frequency, I use the medium one. So the wide shot in this case would be that baked angle with both of us in. How many speakers? I've got some presets I've set. It's two guests. And then I'm pretty lazy. I don't put the names. I just put one, two, and then all speakers here. And then it creates a multicam edit and then creates a backup as well, just in case, you know, you've messed things up and you need to go back and correct them. And you start chopping everything up just by magic and uh yeah it's pretty neat <laughs> i'm not gonna lie it is pretty neat how it does this and just like that in seconds it's created a mixed version of your podcast now i'm gonna admit it's not perfect all the time obviously because it's just going by the audio and you do need to go in and tighten stuff up but if you needed to give a draft in this is amazing and you'll see right here it kind of switches between the angles all by itself like look at this it's not the greatest menu <laughs> yeah no yeah yeah so it's i can tell too that there's some features that are stripped because like you see that so it just switches between the angles and it's pretty tight and if i want to go in and change those angles i just enable what i need to right here and if i want to tighten stuff up again q and w and i'll go through the whole thing and just tighten that up choose the appropriate angles sometimes one of us looks uh, a bit bored change that make sure it's nice and tight and that is a really cool way of editing your multicam. Now, there's another plugin called Firecut, and I'll show you how Firecut works. In theory, it is pretty much the same thing. I'm gonna go into multi-track, and then I will select my tracks. So right here, speakers one and two, that goes with the audio. And then I'm just gonna press analyze. And what that does, it goes through everything. It works a slightly different to autopod what it does it analyzes everything and then you can kind of select pauses or angles or frequency of stuff like it can get a bit more involved using this one i mean you've got options and we've got the links in the description you can choose they've got free trials just give them a go and see what's up so it's analyzed everything and right here we've got a bunch of options and it's got a detailed analysis of who's going to be where as you can see i've got one two one two one two so it doesn't have the wide shot as much. So preference for wide shot is just like, you know, increase that. And then obviously you see in the preview cut right here, all the different cuts. So as soon as you're happy with that, you press go. And it does that pretty quick because it's analyzed everything beforehand. Now, the one thing I don't like about fire cut is that it'll make the cuts, but it doesn't make the cut the whole way through. So if I was like to choose angles, I, in my head, it's just a bit untidy. So I would prefer if it did the cut the whole way through, just so I can kind of swap between angles and like select what I need to. And I've got a shortcut for enabling and disabling tracks. So that would be my preference. But the cool thing is with this one is because it's analyzed everything, I can undo, confirm undo. It'll undo everything like super quick. I can go back, change the frequency of stuff, change some of the settings. And then because it's already analyzed everything, press go and it'll just, as you can see, just chop everything up pretty quick. And just like that, it's done the edit. If I don't like that, if there's too many wide shots, go back again. So that's a pretty cool feature. Obviously it does the same thing. It just follows the audio. I can have of it and just crossfade. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. So just like that, you've got everything done super quick. So for really quick turnaround stuff, both of these are super cool. What Firecut does is 
it's got a few more options so you can add zooms in remove silences primary priority has that in remove filler words primary priority has that in add chapters it's got a few more things you can use some of them are like they're still testing them out and in my experience you're never going to find something that's perfect but you're going to find something that just gets you started and gets like bulk of the work done really depends on your use case and your workflow personally if i had more than three angles i'd probably use the multicam editing tool with Embraer pro or if I was editing some kind of musical performance, I'd probably go with that because I can see the different angles and I can choose and get more creative. But if I wanted a quick turnaround, I'd probably just go with the plugins and just get them out of the way and then go in further and edit what I need to. So you've got some options there. We've got links in the description for everything. And along editing this type of content, you need to know how to make some killer clips for social media. So check out this video here. And if you got any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments. Take care.